Today is Friday, and this is Eunoia, spoken by Elswith. Eunoia is all about the connection between us outside of our playtime together. Send your notes through Patreon or the Spoken by Elswith website to be included in the listen section. And continue on to obey for the homework, permissive circumstance, etc. So, today is Friday, uh, October 1st. Um, yes. <laughs> I know, I know. You know me, if you know me. You know I love it when the first day of the month falls on the first day of the week. Um, but for October, I'll take this. It's okay. I think part of that is because (laughs) of the magic going on in my inbox. I did not know what to expect of my September Naughty and Nice Goal Challenge when I tossed it out there. Just kind of threw it out there (laughs) in the wind and told you not to check in or whatever else and just to turn them in at the end of the month. Um, honestly, I, I really wondered <laughs> what was going to come of that. Um, but man, you know what? I shouldn't have. I should have known. Uh, they started arriving yesterday and there's a lot. <laughs> a lot of them. Um, oh, so what I was going to do, this is all anonymous. Um, and the responses and stuff, those will happen privately. Um, but I wanted to give you a few examples of what went on. So, um, one person, they spent the month reaching out to people in their local kink community, uh, going to some munches and meeting some people. Uh, well done on that. Uh, breaking out of your comfort zone, that is incredibly hard. And progress? That's impressive. Someone else? (laughs) They acquainted themselves with their Vitamix. Um, If you do not know what a Vitamix is, imagine... (laughs) Imagine those insane YouTube videos. And I swear, I do not watch these things. I just have friends that do. And they're like, hey, look at this. And then I suddenly find myself looking at their phone watching this YouTube video. But if you imagine one that's like, will it blend? And it's, um, (laughs) I don't know, a, a Vans shoe or a, um, I'm really coming at a loss here. (laughs) Nokia phone, you know, something like that. Um, imagine that. Will it blend? Now imagine the blender. That's probably a Vitamix. It's just this heavy duty does everything, including like making hot soup kind of thing. Okay, so um, they reacquainted themselves with their Vitamix and indulged in delicious smoothies, uh, real ones (laughs) with veggies in them. (laughs) I always like, um, (laughs) I have one particular family member and (laughs) we only talk at a distance because obviously I'm in the UK now and they're still over in the States and as we would say in the South bless their heart you know they basically think if you throw it in the blender and whiz it around for a bit it somehow becomes healthy and they showed me their um, (laughs) ingredients for a smoothie once and and it was crazy it was like um it was a greek yogurt like a vanilla greek yogurt it was peanut butter and again these aren't like inherently bad right but <laughs> it was um bananas and um man i can't even think of which other fruits i don't know the list just went on and on and then they just I needed some chocolate because chocolate goes with peanut butter so they have like this protein powder and I swear by the time they finished this was like 
<laughs> like 3,000 calories of fruit. <laughs> fruit and peanut butter and, um, because it was heavy on the peanut butter and yogurt. And to them, it was basically just, it was health food because <laughs> it came out of the blender and it was a smoothie. Anyway, this person, they, um, in their Vitamix, they were making real ones with veggies in them. I used to, <laughs> when I was a medical professional, and I would have people say, ooh, I've been juicing. And I would say, okay, what are you juicing? And it almost always would be something like apple and carrot juice or orange and carrot juice. And in my mind, if you want a pat on the back for juicing, you better be juicing celery. <laughs> <laughs> they really don't just eat the celery but if you're juicing celery and wheatgrass and I don't know cilantro and something else in together and you're drinking that that's hardcore and that probably has something in it good for you okay we are six minutes into this and I've got totally gone on a tangent I wish I could see Peter's face as he's editing this because he's just gonna wonder what happened. I'm in a good mood though. I got up early, I grabbed a fantastic shower, I, um, my clothes were warm, they were on the heated drying rack. For those of you not in the UK, that probably means nothing to you, um, because you just throw everything in the dryer. Here they call it the tumble dryer, and most people <laughs> view it with suspicion, like it's just gonna explode um and then I took the doggo for a walk and we got out we got out pretty early you know when that sky is still that blue light that perfect light for waking you up it, it was just great great way to start the month um okay and let's see here oh and one of the sub goals of September's challenge was beginning to set up some good habits outside of January 1st um because those promises, the, the January 1st thing, that's really hard. And I think it's hard because everybody else is starting and then everybody else is quitting at that two week mark, right? And they're tossing it off, but they can't quit unless you quit and then it's like the crab in the pot syndrome. So doing it a different month and if you weren't you know, around to hear me last month, go ahead and do it this month. Keep track for an entire month without telling me I have a naughty and nice goal, and then at the end of the month, the month, um, <laughs> as you carve your pumpkin, uh, let me know what it was. Uh, hey, kudos if you can carve <laughs> your goal into a pumpkin. Um, oh, if you spent the month working on strength training or brain training, and I had quite a few of these in some capacity, I am proud of you. I think that it's a fun thing to do, especially strength training that's very measurable. Um, you can set that goal, you can see yourself progressing, um, I think that's kind of motivation in itself. Uh, oh, <laughs> and more than one of my dear listeners went orgasm free for the month. I have a delightful photograph of a gridded notebook page with 30 proud check marks. Um, and another, they spent their time listening to lots of chastity training and the pocket pet sessions and such through the month. Um, okay, speaking of pocket pet, today is also the day that the pocket pet session one adventure is shared with my patrons. The free trigger is in the shop and I'll link in the notes as well. Um, be sure to listen to that a few times before moving on to the first session. As another part of your listening, Jeff has graciously allowed for his song to be shared, and that's also going to be over on Patreon for my happy harem to hear. And I've enjoyed getting back to these almost daily Unoyas. Um, just to note, Saturday is generally a session release day, um, and yeah, you will have a new session on Saturday. I will continue to release those early for patrons or make you wait, depending on whatever sounds right to me at the time. <laughs> um, this Sunday, we're going to have a breathing and journal advice tidbit that happens 
there's my dog. Happens <laughs> during the um, our breathing time together. I am gonna start weaving the Sundays, those breathing practices, into the Monday MCFs. Um, reality is, the more we interact together, the easier and actually more fun it is to create these sessions for our mutual pleasure. Okay, now, after all of our listening, it's time to obey. So, let's find a good position. Let's find a position that makes you feel optimistic. Maybe that is standing, feet shoulder width apart, hands on your hips, shoulders kind of up and back. Maybe it's filling your space more. If you find that you're kind of, your arms are crossed and you're small, try putting your arms out. Take up more space. The beginning of the month, the end of the work week for many. I want you to breathe in the color of beginning and breathe out the color of end. Obviously, these colors will be different for everyone, but breathe in that color of beginning that confident pose, optimistic pose that you found. Breathe it in and breathe out the color of end. Being good to yourself, taking this time for yourself is important. I want you healthy and balanced. I want your mind sharp. After all, where else am I going to play? Breathe in the color of beginning. Breathe out the color of end. Your homework is to tell me those colors. And I'll tell you your permissive circumstance in a moment. Breathe in the color of beginning. Breathe out the color of end. The character Jan in an Albert Camus play has this quote. Autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower. I know. Not everyone is entering into autumn, fall, but you're welcome to live vicariously through me. And imagine those creamy wool sweaters, the deep green boots to keep out the damp, and lots of excuses to drink hot beverages after a walk spent crunching through the leaves. Welcoming a new month, welcoming a new season, breathing in the color of beginning, breathing out the color of end. So the quote, autumn is a second spring where every leaf is a flower. It really caught my fancy today. And then I remembered. (laughs) And then I remembered the play. Uh, The quote is lovely. The play, it's, well, it's like a Greek tragedy without being Greek. And, well, the clever among you, you likely know where this is going with your PC. Your permissive circumstance is this. If you can name the play without looking it up, of course, you have my permission for release today. I'll give you a couple hints. First hint, 
It is a two-word title, and the first word is the. <laughs> Second hint, another one of the characters in this play, other than Jan, is Martha. All right, enjoy your Friday, and enjoy the session tomorrow. And for my dear Happy Harem, make sure you go over to Patreon so you can download the first full session using that pocket pet trigger. Well done on your patience. <laughs>